You're watching the seventh video in a series of tutorials to help you learn how to use Filmora 9, the fun to use, easy to learn video editor for all creators. By watching our tutorials, you can learn everything you need to know to create your own videos in Filmora 9. Hey everyone, today we're going to go through how to use the timeline, how to add and adjust tracks, and how to hide and lock tracks as well. The timeline is where the bulk of editing takes place. By dragging this orange tab here, called the playhead, you can move around the timeline. The part of the video that the playhead is over is the part you're going to see in the preview window. If you can't see your whole video on the timeline, then you can click grab this gray bar at the top of the timeline and drag it to the left or right to change how you see it. There's a useful button up here on the right side of the screen that will allow you to click once to show your whole video in the timeline or you can use this slider beside the button to do the same thing. A track is a section of your timeline that holds media. Filmora 9 has two types of tracks, one for audio and one for video. Audio tracks are always located below the video tracks. As you add things to this timeline, your video will grow in length, and the more media you add, the more organized you're going to have to be with your timeline. Right now I have two video tracks and one audio track indicated by the symbols down here. Let's say I want to add another element onto this part of my video. If I grab the element and drag it down to the timeline above where I want it, Filmora will make a new video track above it to place the element on automatically. Another way to do this is to click this symbol here. Here we can add video and audio tracks, and we can delete them. You can adjust the track height to be bigger or smaller depending on how you like it. What if we wanted to add lots of tracks at the same time? The track manager is located right here. In the track manager, you can add up to 99 video or audio tracks to your timeline. By using this drop-down menu, you can choose the placement of the tracks you're adding. The timeline has some other useful things on it too. Let's say we want to get this element off screen for a second so we can move our title around. By clicking this eye icon, it will make the element invisible. For an audio track, instead of the eye, you have this icon here that will allow you to mute all of the sound on that track. By clicking this lock icon, you will lock media that lives on that track. Media on a locked track can't be edited or changed at all while locked, and it can't be moved either. You can right click any track to also open up all of these options here that we used before, and also open the track manager. Another timeline tool that can be very useful for organization is markers. Clicking this icon here will let us make a marker. Markers are like sticky notes that you can put on your timeline that can be named and given a description as well. Once you've made a marker, you can double click it to edit the name and description like this. Now when you hover your mouse over the marker, you can see your note. You can add a marker to a clip as well. Just click on the clip and then click the marker button. This is useful for selecting an exact moment in your video to line up with something else, like an audio clip. And there you have it. That's everything you need to know about using the timeline. Thanks for watching. Check out some of our other tutorials to learn how to take your video from start to finish with Filmora 9.